Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for our reception assembly. Like last week we have our learners and stars to celebrate from each of the reception classes. We have a story to share and we've also got a fantastic song for you lined up right at the end. We'll also be revealing the storyteller of the week in a separate video. So without further ado, it's time for Mrs Bridgewater to reveal her reception one learners and stars. Take it away Mrs Bridgewater. Hello to everybody in reception one. So it's that time of week again where we get to find out who our star and learner are for the week. So we'll start with the learner. My learner this week has been so busy, he must have covered every area of our curriculum. He's been doing some maths learning, he's been writing, he's been creative. In his writing, he's been looking at ascending and descending letters and how they are formed on the line. In his craft work, he has created a snail with lots of different coloured pieces, which is particularly nice to see because he doesn't normally like doing craft things at school. And in his maths learning, he's been counting in twos. He recorded it so I could even hear him. So my learner of the week this week is Elijah. So now to my star. My star of the week this week is a little boy. He's been working so hard with his craft learning this week. He's created mini beasts out of natural materials. He's used rhubarb, he's used twigs, stones, chalk, flowers to create a bumblebee and a snail. He's also been really creative with reading a story to his brother. He couldn't particularly read all of the words, but he told the story through pictures. So for creativity this week, my star goes to James. Congratulations on your creativity star. Thank you, Mrs. Bridgewater. I've been sport for choice with all the wonderful work you've been sending here from home, but I've chosen my reception two learner this week based on his excellent use of Play-Doh to make a mini beast, lovely letters to write all about it, his physical active learning outside, and also being a nature detective to find a little nest of robins in his garden. So for all those reasons and more, my learner of the week is Ellis Latham. Okay, so my star of the week goes to someone for showing some really, really strong perseverance in their handwriting, producing some fantastic pieces which they've been sending in to me, and also a special mention to their younger sibling, who's also shown perseverance for reaching a really special milestone in their own development. So, well done, April Watton. Congratulations on your perseverance star. Hello, reception three. It's that time of week again when I've got to choose my learner and star. And I've got my little help here to help me choose. And I say hello, Luna. I think she wants to go. Right then. It has been so hard this week to choose one learner and one star because of all the amazing learning I have received this week. But I can only choose one, so here we go. My learner this week is a girl and she has been completing some of the home learning that's been set. She has made some mini beasts with Play-Doh. She has found out some facts about those mini beasts. But the one thing that stood out for me this week was the beautiful story that she wrote. She had a beginning, a middle and an end. Her handwriting was beautiful. She was using those ascenders and descenders. And the story was absolutely fabulous all about a caterpillar called Ben. Our learner this week goes to Naina. Well done, Naina. Right then, our star this week is a boy. He also has been doing the home learning that has been set. He's been attempting to write some sentences, he's been drawing some pictures, he's been doing lots of maths work. He drew a picture of a chick, he labelled the chick's body parts, but the one thing that's impressed me the most was when he was doing his addition and subtraction, he was using a number line. Now, I know this boy found using a number line really tricky at school. So this week, I'm going to give him the Perseverance Star for continuing to use that number line and to master that skill. So our star this week goes to Carmen Preet. Well done, Carmen Preet. Congratulations on your Perseverance Star! can't have a week of assemblies with no staff star. So, as a surprise to all the staff and everybody out there, our staff star this week is going to Miss Short for her fantastic creativity in her class assembly. Congratulations, Miss Short. 
time to get your nominations in for next week at info at eastparkacademy.com. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Mrs. Whiteley, and well done to all of our learners and stars across reception. Now, we've received some truly fantastic storytelling videos from you this week, and it was really, really difficult to choose just one of those for our Storyteller of the Week video, which will be published just after our assembly. But it gives me great, great pleasure to announce our first Storyteller of the Week is Jensen Stanners from Reception One. Well done, Jensen. Now, as our weekly topic of reception is all about growing, I've got a special poem to read you called I Will Plant a Garden. I will plant a garden green, then I'll watch it grow. I'll dig some holes here in the dirt, in a nice straight row. With a dig dig here, and a dig dig there, here a dig, there a dig, everywhere a dig dig, I will plant a garden green, then I'll watch it grow. I will plant a garden green, then I'll watch it grow. In the hole I'll drop a seed, then each seed I'll sow. With a drop drop here, and a drop drop there. Here a drop, there a drop, everywhere a drop drop. I will plant a garden seed, then I'll watch it grow. I, I will plant a garden green, then I'll watch it grow. I'll water each plant, one by one. They'll sprout up in a row. With a squirt, squirt here, and a squirt, squirt there. Here a squirt, there a squirt, everywhere a squirt, squirt. I will plant a garden green, then I'll watch it grow. Thank you very much for joining us all today. Just a reminder to check out our Storyteller of the Week video, as well as our weekly learning roundup. But now to lead us out, we have our very own East Park Academy band. So please take it away, guys. and grow our hearts and minds.